couple things to keep in mind when you are going to read someone's mind. Number one, ask permission. It's just polite. <laughs> you don't want to just go walking into that house, you know, unannounced, okay? The second thing is, if you do figure out that you are able to read minds, don't ever tell your spouse. <laughs> if they say to you, honey, I ask you to take out the garbage, and you say, I didn't hear that. I didn't know that you wanted me to take out the garbage. I'm not a mind reader. That excuse is gone, if they know, okay? So what we did over the lunch break is we took a list, a list of all the participants here, because I'm going to need some help on this, and we drew names, and uh, Nancy Bowell. Oh, thank you so much, Nancy. Can you, can you have a seat up here, Nancy? That'd be great. I need a little help with this, because I don't know if these guys believe that mind reading is possible. <laughs> You're skipping ahead, Nancy. <laughs> now, I'm supposed to ask you if we have had any discussions about this ahead of time. Have we, have we talked about this at all? No, Neil, we have not. No, okay. <laughs> do you know what questions that I'm going to ask you? No, I do not. Okay. Do you even like me? Yes, I oh, do. Oh, good. <laughs> That's so nice. Oh, you're already reading my mind. See? <laughs> there we go. Now, the other question I have to ask you is, if, are you a mind reader yourself? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I was getting a vibe. I knew that. <laughs> have you registered with the National Bureau of uh, Mind Readers? The law requires that, Nancy. They kicked me out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now you're, at, you're adding some suspicion that you're in on this, Nancy. Okay? All right. This is how this is going to work. I'm going to ask Nancy four questions, all right? And I'm going to ask her to think about the answer, and I don't want her to say anything. I'm going to write down my answer, and after I write down my answer, and I'm going to put it in this cup up here, I'm going to ask Nancy to share her answer with you after my answer is already there, okay? I better write down what I'm thinking in case I <laughs> When I saw the name, it made me a little nervous. <laughs> Now, it's really important for you guys up here not to be thinking too much about the questions. It kind of throws off the frequency a little bit, okay? All right. This is called finding the frequency, okay? Okay. I think I'm locked in on Nancy. However, I don't sense much activity. <laughs> Classic mind reader joke. Sorry about that. Okay, Nancy. Question number one, and I'm going to number these as well, and I need to show you there's nothing on these pieces of paper, okay? We're good to go. Question number one, what is your favorite color? Now, don't answer. I'm going to write it down. Got it? I need your whole head to think about it. Okay. All right, I'm writing down my answer and folding it up. Nancy, what's your favorite color? Red. I'm glad you went with that. You were kind of flip-flopping on me a little bit. One for one, okay? We'll, we'll show you at the end. We'll show you at the end, absolutely. Question number two, give me the name of your best friend in third grade. This is a hard one for him, but he can do it. Okay. Okay. Nancy, tell these guys who your best friend was. Billy. 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 She had a lot to choose from. She had a lot to choose from. Okay. Third question. What's your favorite vegetable? Okay. What's your favorite vegetable? Okay. Okay. Asparagus. Asparagus. You had it this week, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you guys didn't believe me. Third. Final question. Fourth question. <laughs> Thank you. 
I want you to think of the first animal that comes to your mind that begins with the letter E. Remember okay. the first one. It would be the first one. And you guys, I can't. I, throwing me off here a little bit. Okay. Okay. What was it? Elephant. Elephant. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, Nancy, can you pull these out? There's way too many, aren't there? There's four of them. Okay. And I want you to read them off in numbered order. Do you have them numbered? I have them numbered. Oh, yes, you do. Sorry, I folded them quite a bit. You I sure did. It's enough to ask you to come up here like this. Yes, but. it is. <laughs> For the color, he has green, and I said red. No. It says red. <laughs> That's why I have Mike there. That's why I have him there. Number two says Billy. Okay. Number three says asparagus. Number four says elephant. Thank you very much, Nancy. Give her a round of applause. Thank you very much. Like I said, it is possible, but it takes a lot of work, okay? And I don't know if that would be the best resource of, of doing mind reading training, although you can talk to me. I've got some tips for you.